Hey everybody, I'm Christian and welcome back to HPO News. It's been a quiet few weeks since Watches and Wonders, but we are back and ready to get into it. Before we do, I want to say at the time of this recording, we are about 10 followers away from being able to do live videos. Now, I would love to do live news segments, collection videos, Q&As, things like that. So please, if you're watching this, like, subscribe, and tell your friends about us so we can do cooler stuff for this channel as it gets better. So let's grab a drink and let's get into it. First things first, we get to talk about one of my favorite brands today, Casio. Casio has just announced a new G-Shock. I'm going to look at my notes so I don't butcher the actual number. GDB500S-8. That very cool name uh, is what they're calling what can only be described as a oddly shaped, slightly more condensed version of their GMW5000. A fully digital watch. It's going to be thinner and a little bit longer. I think it's their first real take into rectangular watches. I'm excited about it. Of course, I love rectangular watches, but I love when any brand puts out something new and unique. Right now, it's in four colors. You can get it in white, black, gray, and of course, bright neon yellow and green. At $130, I am excited to try this on. I want to see how it fits on the wrist. I think it's probably going to be a pretty good price point for the quality that you can get. But when the time comes, we'll check them out and we'll do a full video and compare them to some of the other G-Shocks in the lineup, see if it's really worth the money. Moving on to the big brands, AP has just announced an incredible new Aventurine edition of the or John Mayer Limited Edition. I've come out on the channel and on the podcast saying I'm not always the biggest fan of AP and specifically the Royal Oak, just not my favorite watch in their lineup. What they have done here, however, is the craziest take I have seen on an Aventurine dial, and it is stunning. It is going to be their final limited edition with their perpetual calendar movement, the 5134. Hopefully, I'm sure we're going to see another unique movement. We'll see what comes from AP. But the big thing to note here is the crystal sky dial. It is a navy blue textured crystalline looking dial. I don't know what it's actually made of. Could not find any in my research, but hopefully I'll be able to dig some up and we'll do more information about it in the future. But what they have done with this dial is so cool. I know this is the last version of the 5134. I hope we are just at the beginning though of the crystal sky dials. I would love to see different color combos. And I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of rainbow watches, but I think a rainbow perpetual calendar crystal sky would be absorbent and ostentatious and unique and right in line with the Royal Oak brand and what they're going for these days. So it's a good way to sunset this movement, a great start to more of this dial, and I'm excited to see what comes from AP in the future. Now we get to talk about one of my favorite things in the world, micro brands. Now today we are going to be a bit on the edge of what it means to be a micro brand. This brand is really growing a lot. They've gotten a lot of good publicity. They're putting out incredible watches. Today we are talking about Christopher Ward. In the past, Christopher Ward released my favorite version of a moon phase. I love what they did with their beautiful loom moon or full dial moon phase. And to get today, they have another stunner, the 12X, a fully titanium case, integrated bracelet, and a skeletonized dial showing off what I think is the most beautiful version of a skeletonized since the PPX 115 from Oris. For those of you who have watched the channel and followed us, you probably know that Oris is my favorite version of the skeletonized dial until today. Christopher Ward comes in and just knocks it out of the park. It is a, I believe, their 10th anniversary of their COSC in-house certified in-house chronometer movement. The way they have done this, it is truly so beautiful. And of course, you get the awesome loom, the great craftsmanship and the high quality that we expect out of this brand now. The watch is going to come in at just over $4,800, and it can be pre-ordered for delivery in November, I believe $1,890 or $18 and change. That's a pretty heavy chunk of change for a watch these days, especially from a smaller brand, but based on what we've seen Christopher Ward putting out, I do think they're worth it. I'm excited to be able to get my hands on one, hopefully come November, if not earlier, Christopher Ward. Um, but once we do, we'll do a whole video about it, hopefully unboxing and review, and you guys will be the first to know, or at least... That's our show. Thank you so much for checking us out. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram or find us on wherever you listen to podcasts, Half Passed Out Podcast. 
And again, tell your friends about us. We love doing what we do and we want to be able to do it better. So thanks, everybody. Cheers.